David, we've had the announcement recently of an increased funding of 3.6 million into the women's game. That sort of funding doesn't come around without a lot of planning. What's the background to it and what's the reason for it? Well, after the 2014 uh, Women's Rugby World Cup, there was a decision made that the Women's 15s program would come across into the performance area of Irish rugby. And uh, a lot of that was based on the fact that uh, we wanted to create a, uh, a total women's rugby program combining the sevens and the fifteens program together uh, under one banner, uh, under one set of, of coaches uh, and one system, uh, which would allow us to be able to invest money uh, more effectively and efficiently uh, for the long-term growth of women's rugby in Ireland. We're looking to create greater depth uh, and uh, that creates competition which creates performance and women's area is no different and our strategy in that area is exactly the same and combining the sevens program um, with the fifteens program has enabled us to do that and provide servicing uh, at a greater level uh, for all women's rugby in Ireland. You mentioned uh, bringing the, the 15s and the 7s together under the one umbrella and, and here we are in, in their home effectively in Dublin. Yeah, p part of the investment was to create this training base uh, for the women and uh, uh, by, by having a, uh, uh, a one-stop shop I suppose for the girls to be able to, the 7s and the 15 girls, uh, to be able to call home here in Lansdowne Road um, is, has been a fantastic advancement for, uh, for the team. Um, also, we've got the, uh, uh, a purpose-built gymnasium uh, here in the stadium uh, behind us, uh, which is pretty much dedicated to the use of women's rugby. So uh, all of those things have been a huge addition to, uh, to the women's rugby program. This Irish women's uh, 15s team will be the best prepared team to enter a, a women's rugby World Cup, I've no doubt about that. On top of creating the one program, we, uh, we assigned a, a full-time women's 15s coach in Tom Tierney uh, for the past three years to take them into this World Cup. Um, we've invested in, uh, in a number of other staffing areas to make sure that the girls have uh, permanent access to strength and conditioning. Um, we've aligned the women's program because uh, a lot of the girls are, are, are all based, they're still based provincially. Um, we've aligned that with uh, the increased investment also in the academy, so they have access to nutrition, strength and conditioning, uh, medical services on a year-round basis. So uh, it's been a considerable investment, um, but uh, one that's giving these girls every opportunity to perform at their best. And in addition to the staffing and the facilities that have been invested in, there's been a significant increase in the training time in terms of time in camp and also game time as well. Yeah, um, it, it's been progressing each year. Last November, we had the first November series for the women. Um, they played three test matches against three of the, the top ranked teams in the world, uh, which was great preparation leading into uh, the Six Nations earlier this year, um, which is all part and parcel of the build up to, uh, to this particular World Cup. Um, the training times that the girls have, uh, have been able to uh, to have have, have uh, multiplied uh, considerably. Um, they uh, they would have had probably two or three times as many contact hours with the coaching group than they've had previously. Um, so uh, all of that has been uh, part and parcel of the build up to this. And now with the the World Cup squad announced and the excitement building, they're going into a, a five day camp in Fota just ahead of the tournament. They are. They, uh, they had a couple of games a little bit uh, a few weeks ago against the Japanese team as part of the preparation and when they're down in camp in Fota they'll, uh, they'll be uh, training with the Spanish team um, which is going to be an important part of their preparation uh, before they come back uh, up to Dublin and into camp at, uh, at UCD to prepare uh, for the final preparations uh, for the tournament. And speaking of the tournament, we've said the excitement is building. It's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, look, it'll be great. I mean, the, uh, the support that the, the team's going to get from uh, having the, get the, uh, the World Cup here in Dublin um, is going to be huge. Uh, I think it's going to be a great, uh, a great atmosphere out there at UCD. I think it's a great venue uh, for the competition. Um, I think all the visiting teams are going to really enjoy the hospitality here in, uh, in Dublin and, uh, and also up in Belfast. And, uh, you know, uh, we're convinced that it's going to be a big success both on and off the field. David, thanks very much.